blue collar guns and gear what are you doing to get ready for deer season well tomorrow is opening day in uh, Rosie excuse me guys tomorrow is opening day for gun season here in Georgia and I have my gun sighted in they're ready to go ready to rock still sighted in from last year um, I'm just excited so I wanted to make a short video here and say you know tomorrow is is the day this is my old 270 um, BAR the one on the bottom is my old BAR Browning in 270 that I've had since 1988 I was 14 years old when my dad gave me that on Christmas morning my older brother has one and when he got his I just I wanted one more than anything in the world. You know, I wanted whatever my brother had. You know, he was my big bro, and I wanted the gun he had, and he had one of these, and so I wanted one. And my dad, who is a wonderful man, um, he gave that to me when I was 14. And I'm 45 now, so this will be my 31st season with the BAR, and we've been up the creek and over the mountain together and in all types of weather. And it's, it's taken uh, its share of abuse. I wouldn't say abuse, but it's just, you know, I've hunted with it every year. And it's been an outstanding gun. I, I can't tell you how many deer I've taken with it, but, um, well, well well over 100. So, I don't know, a lot. And uh, and the one on top is a thirty .30-06 uh, BAR. Uh, still has the, the hooded front sight post. I took the hood off of the other one years and years ago. I don't know where it is, but I picked this 30 out 6 up last year uh, around Christmas time. Um, it's a 1968 model, so it's an all Belgium. It was built and assembled in Belgium. Uh, they only made the BAR in Belgium for two years, but uh, it's a grade two. It's in excellent condition. Let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see the engraving. That's an antelope, and it has an elk on the other side. It's a beautiful gun, though. And uh, that old 3 to 9 uh, Redfield scope, it's a wide view, I'm guessing from the 80s. Uh, it actually, it's a great scope still. So I left it on there, and it shoots beautifully. I mean, it's a great gun. So there's just another, uh, another nice gun to, to have. So these two BARs will be my... Well, the 270 will always be my go-to, but the 30 out 6 I will definitely be hunting with it as well uh, this year. I can't wait, man. Uh, tomorrow morning, it's going to be fun. The weather's turned fairly cool here. It's been in the uh, mid to high 40s here the last couple of mornings, and uh, that's, uh, uh, believe me, two weeks ago it was 100 degrees here. So it's, I love it. I like the uh, the fall weather and uh, I'm ready for it to get a little bit colder and I'm going to be taking some time off soon as well from work so that I can get to the deer woods a little more often. But man, I'm pumped. Tomorrow's opening day and that's a big deal in my family. We have a long uh, tradition of hunting in my family and we just, we love it. And you know, we're pretty serious about it. And so it's, it's almost like Christmas Eve for me. Um, I just, I enjoy it that much. And my five-year-old son, he'll be sitting in the blind with me in the morning. Now he, he's not ready to hunt quite yet. Um, I do have him shooting a 22 already. Now he wants to hunt very much. And, uh, so he'll get to go with me in the morning. Hopefully he'll get a lo little buck fever. Maybe we'll see something. And, uh, but either way, it's just all about, all about having fun and getting out there. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to I'll tell you a little bit about this BAR, this 1968. I picked it up uh, right before Christmas last year, like like I wasn't already broke, you know, from Christmas spending. But I was at a gun show, and, and um, a guy had this, and I got to looking at it, and he wanted uh, $550 for it, which is just unbelievable. And it's not just a used BAR. I mean, it's a 1968, an all-Belgium. So some people may consider it a collector. I consider it uh, a hunter. You know, it's a great hunting rifle e either way. These new, the new BARs would cost you well over a thousand. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend these used ones from like the eighties or even the, 
even the early 90s, you know, or whatever, or any, any of the year models that you can find that are, I mean, they're, they're, sometimes they're reasonably priced. If you look on the used market, you can find a used VAR for six or seven hundred dollars, you know, and I mean, this one's lasted me, the one on the bottom, the 270, it's lasted me 30 years, 31 years now, and now, let me tell you something. I've hunted a lot with that gun, a lot, and I have taken so many deer. So these guns will last you a lifetime. The one on top, I don't, I don't know who owned it before me, but it's been around since 1968. Who knows the history of that gun? Who knows how long or how many deer you know have been taken with it or whatever? And uh, it's going to take one this year. I, I plan on uh, definitely getting something with it this year. I can't wait. To, uh, to hunt with it. Uh, last year, I have some pumpkins. My son wanted some pumpkins. Here's one that I, I took last year. Pretty nice eight-pointer I took on, on my property. Um, <clears throat> took him with the old 270 and was real glad to get him. Shot him on my old land. Um, I just, uh, it'd been raining for about three days and and the forecast said that it was supposed to clear up uh, this particular evening. It was November 14th of last year. And so I went in there. I like, I like to hunt in the rain. I know I'm weird, but hey, it paid off. And uh, anyway, when the rain stopped, about 30 or 40 minutes later, he came out. And he was checking on a scrape that I knew was in there. The scrape was about the size of the bed of my truck. So it was one of the biggest scrapes I've ever seen. And uh, he was checking that scrape, and I drilled him at about 70 yards with that BAR. So it's just another another fun story, you know, that I've had. Man, the memories I've had with this gun are unbelievable. And I just, uh, man, I wouldn't take anything in the world for that old BAR. And that's my favorite gun in the world right there, the one on the bottom. And one day it'll, it'll belong to my son. And, you know, also, as far as, um, like, what do I take in the woods with me, uh, not much. You know, I don't rattle horns. I very, very rarely use a grunt call. Um, sometimes I'll take a little dopey, maybe, and, you know, sprinkle a little bit around just to uh, try to cover my scent or whatever. I don't even use, I don't even use scents very much, you know. I will use a scent away or, um, what is it? I'll use away soap or whatever, take a shower, and I do, I, I do wash my clothes in, uh, in uh, the scent-free detergents that are free of dyes and perfumes or whatever, and I'll do that. Uh, those are about the only precautions I really take. I mostly just watch the wind, and I also mostly hunt from the ground. I don't really hunt in stands very much. I mostly hunt on the ground, and... Uh, that's about it. And what do I take to the stand with me? Well, me, uh, my clothes. Uh, usually I have, I definitely, I'll, I always make sure I have extra shells just, just because. Now these are a four plus one capacity each. Uh, but I always take extra shells just because. And, you know, I, I usually, of course I have my wallet on me because it has my hunting license in it. And sometimes a bottle of water and and a sidearm and a knife that's it uh less is more for me uh people ask why don't you use grunt calls why don't you use rattling horns all this other stuff uh, I, I know that some of those things work for people sometimes uh, I, I know they do and I, I have nothing against any of those things but for me uh, i'm kind of old school in my approach and i don't like to attract attention to myself so that's how i am about that uh, the bullets that I typically use for the 270 are these Federal Blue Box, 130 grain saw point. Cheapest stuff you can get, and it's outstanding. It's extremely accurate out of my rifles and very lethal. I've killed, I don't know how many deer with those Federals. And, uh, you know, it's about like the cheapest stuff you can get, those in core locks. Uh, and the core locks, I've also taken a slew of deer with those. And, let me grab these these Winchester, these PowerPoint, these are, now these are 30-06, 150 grain, that's what I'm going to be shooting out of my other BAR there, because I sighted it in with those, and it's, they're extremely accurate, 
but now last year that buck i shot with the 270 it i shot it with uh, hornady sst's 130 grain they're like a ballistic tip type and they worked extremely well i also killed a 10 pointer um about a week before i killed that that eight pointer but i, I don't have him in here right at the moment or i would show him to you also but i killed both of those deer with those hornadies and they work very well also but you know <laughs> those uh those inexpensive soft points they sometimes shoot better than the more premium ammo i i believe they do out of my rifles anyway and i'm not just saying that because i'm cheap because i'm not cheap i mean i just but i i will take advantage of value and those federal blue box i mean they are they shoot extremely accurate out of my bar and they've been nothing but lethal on the deer so why would i need anything else um you know at my hunting ranges where i'm not going to be shooting more than about 300 yards and usually less than 100 um that, it's all i need and i really like 130 grain in a 270. uh I've, I've taken quite a few deer with 150 grains they worked fine they shoot very accurate they're very lethal but there's just something about those 130s man they are like a lightning bolt i love them and uh but anyway yeah i mean you don't have to have tons of gear you don't have to have tons of uh you know anything now these are nice rifles you know they're, they're considered more high-end or high dollar rifles for some people who just want to get out there and hunt and some people may consider them too pretty to hunt with or whatever i don't i, I don't now i still have some of those old uh, cane gun chaps they don't make them anymore uh, but I, I have some that I use on these. I've had them since I had my 270 because um, my dad gave me those gun chaps with the rifle. So I still use them every year and they work great and they've protected the wood real well. Now the metal, it's seen better days. Um, you know, it's, it's been up the creek and over the mountain, like I said, in all types of weather. Uh, I would like to get it refinished one day, but nah, who knows? Maybe, maybe not. But it's a great outstanding rifle and uh yeah i mean less is more for me uh, i'd rather have the skills than to have tons of gear you know and uh just get out there and hunt them guys and i can't wait tomorrow's opening day good luck to everyone wherever you are if you're out there hunting this year be safe and uh gosh i'm, I'm just excited so sorry for the long-winded video but it's fun and uh, good luck to everybody and uh hope you kill a big one all right thank you for watching see ya